we go, we're gonna take the person's heart rate first. Okay. 104. 104, okay, great. And go ahead and do the lifts. So all the way up, back down again. All the way up for number two, good, and down. All the way up for number three, that's it, and down. All the way up for number four, and down. And relax. So in our rest period, can you just kind of watch the heart rate where we got going there? 105. 105, so we watch your heart rate. Um, we're gonna add more weight, so we'll go up in like a 10, go up in 10 pounds or maybe five. So if you wanna grab another five pounds there. So we increase the weight load. We ask the person their perception scale of um, either six to 20, which is the true Borg scale, or one to 10, which is the modified Borg scale. So how is that for you on a scale of one to 10? Two. Go to two, okay. Then I typically would ask them if they're ready to continue. So a scale for just effort, difficulty, or pain? How hard was it for them to, to, to perform that task? So it's how much exertion did they have to uh, input? So the exertion is then going to correspond to the heart rate, right? So that's why the true Borg scale is a little nicer, because if they rate it as a 6, we expect the heart rate to be 60. If they rate it as a 11, we expect the heart rate to be about 110. Whereas if you're using the modified Borg scale, then it's like a 2. Isn't that, There's no easy flip around for the correspondence. Sorry, were we, was there, you said, was there a set um, rest period? Or? It's 20 seconds, but you can see by the time, put the weight in, yeah. and ask all the questions, are you ready to go? I don't, that's why I'm not too worried about the timing aspect okay. of it, but they have to do four lifts in 20 seconds. So now we're ready for trial number two. So we take the heart rate again, so hopefully we've got some recovery there. Uh, 93. 93. And did you, what was the maximum heart rate you got to in the rest period? 112. 112, okay. So 93, so go ahead. So all the way up for number one. I usually typically walk them through and all the way back down. All the way up for number two and back down. That's keeping them on pace. All the way up for number three and back down. All the way up for number four and back down and relax. So we watch their heart rate for a few seconds. And what are you at now? 115. 115. So then that's typical that we expect this. It takes a little bit for the heart rate to respond to the exercise that's been induced inside there. So then we add more weight inside. Okay. So we go until we reach a test endpoint condition. So a test endpoint condition could be so go ahead and decide that you don't want to lift it. So go try it. Say, uh, don't want to do it. Okay. So they get that far and they finish, so that's voluntary termination by um, the client. Second one is heart rate gets too high, so 85% of their age predicted max. Mm -hmm. Or the third one is their mechanics breakdown. So if you wanna just bring that back down for us. So mechanics, you can go all the way to the ground. So uh, natural mechanics, so bring your feet in really close. When things are really light, their feet are gonna be really close when they go ahead and do it. Okay, so just go ahead, you wanna take that weight. Maybe you want to just take some weights out of there just to make it a little oh. bit lighter so you're not, just for the little demo so you're not struggling. As the weight gets heavier, her feet are going to go wider apart. So her feet are going wider apart. Good. And all the way up, back down. Good. As things get super heavy, okay, her feet would go super wide apart. Okay, so her mechanics would really change. So that's a mechanical by breakdown when we stop the test when her feet got super wide. Okay, so all the way back down again. When she first does it, it's gonna be easy and smooth. So go ahead and do a nice, easy, smooth lift for us. Okay. Boom, and back down. Another mechanical breakdown is that when it gets really heavy, she's gonna to start to introduce some uh, momentum and sliding around. So just kind of pretend you're like you're using your, right? Good, okay, and back down again. So pretend it's really heavy, and so we're trying to use some momentum coming back away. That's it, good and just struggling with it. So those are mechanical breakdowns. So that's a third option that we have for that.